Hi, this is Sophie with I Love You 33. Today I'm going to show you how to make a baby handprint keepsake that's done out of clay. This one right here, Alexandra and I made together along with some help from Papa Mike for my mom's birthday. This one was made out of just some natural clay bought at our local craft store which ran about $8. And we also used a piece of wood, which was about $3, to make the frame. It was Papa Mike that sawed the piece of wood into the lengths that I needed. Then I used some of Martha's craft glue to glue the frame into place. Once the frame was in place, I just took the clay, and once the frame was laid on its back, stuffed the clay in to all the nooks and crannies as well as I could. Once that was filled, Alexander came on over, put her little paws in there to uh, finish it off. One thing with this I will say, I thought it was going to take about five days to dry. It ended up taking double that. It took ten days to dry because of the size and the width of the clay. If you want, you could go to your local ceramic studio to see if they would let you put this in the kiln overnight. That would be a much faster route. I did do the long route and it worked out fine, but uh, just uh, if you're in a hurry, go try your local ceramic studio. As you can see, as it dries, it shrinks up quite a bit, which is great because you don't have to worry about popping off your frame. You could just slide it out once it's dry. Here you can see that I did miss some spots right here. What I should have done was, while it was drying, just taken some of the extra clay and filled in those spots. We're not going to go ahead and give this to grandma looking like this. We're going to paint it her favorite color yellow and then decorate it with some mosaic tiles. Stick around to see what the final product looks like. So here is our, what's it called again? <sighs> so here is our baby handprint keepsake in bright yellow for my mom. And now what I'm going to do is take these mosaics and my favorite crafting tool, if you're ever gonna invest in some kind of crafting tool, a glue gun. You can do everything with a glue gun. So I'm just gonna pop these on here. I'm gonna go ahead and cover all around the edges because I've got these little grooves and then possibly some on the back. Here's the final product. There's mosaic tiles all around the sides and the back. In the front, I also put a little mosaic tile with 2012 written on it. So I'll show you the back. Spin it around. And there it is. It says, I heart Mormor. Mormor is Swedish for grandma. So this is grandma's birthday present from little Alexandra. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you want to check out more tutorials or my little girl clothing line, come on over to iloveyou33.com. Thanks again.